What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tutorial for you. So today we're going to go through and we're going to model a stool um, in SketchUp. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So uh, this is a stool that I found online and um, we're just going to come through and the first thing, first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a 12 inch by 12 inch rectangle. So you can delete out the default model and then tap the R key to activate the rectangle tool and then just type in 12 comma 12 to create a 12 inch by 12 inch rectangle. What we're going to do is we're going to round off the corners of our object. So in order to do that I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to use the the tape measure tool to create some guides. So all you need to do to do that is activate the tape measure tool by clicking on it and then just click once on this end and you can see how right now it's not creating guides but if I tap the control key it creates this dotted line that isn't really a piece of geometry it's more just a guideline so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna activate this and we're just gonna draw two inch guides out from each line so I'm just clicking on the line and then typing typing in two inches and then all we're gonna do is we're gonna come in and draw an arc along each one of these and when we do that all I'm doing is I'm clicking on these two intersections and you can see how SketchUp is automatically rounding off those corners when I do this so this is once I do that what I have is I have this rounded off stool shape just like this and so all we're gonna do is we're gonna push pull this stool and we're gonna go ahead and give it a thickness of we'll call it one inch for right now maybe an inch and a half so just type in use the push pull tool to extrude this an inch and a half so all we're gonna do now is we're gonna come in here and we're gonna draw our legs and we're just gonna call those an inch and a half by an inch and a half so just draw an inch and a half by inch and a half rectangle then what we're gonna do is you're gonna right click on this and you're gonna make it or you're gonna select it and you're gonna come in here and you're gonna you're gonna select it, you're gonna right click, and you're gonna make it a component. So right click, select create component, and we're just gonna call this leg. And make sure this little box for replace selection with component is selected. Make sure cut opening is not selected. So you're gonna go ahead and create that. And then now what we can do is we can go inside this and we can push pull it and give it some length. So we're gonna call these legs 28 inches long. So we're going to create one of those. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to make copies of this using the rotate tool. If I make a copy of this using the move tool, and then I come in here, and remember these are components, so if I change one, the other one's going to change as well. And I move this leg out to create the kind of wider base that we're talking about. You can see how this is facing the wrong way. So it doesn't move out this way, which is the way it naturally should go. It's moving the wrong way. But if we come in here and we make our copy with the rotate tool, then everything should work properly. So all you're gonna do to do this is you're gonna select this leg and then make sure you save a copy of your model before you do this. But you're just gonna come in with your rotate tool and you're gonna kind of inference to the center of this. So move your mouse until it goes over the midpoint of this edge and then kind of move your mouse along the face and hold the shift key. And you can see how what that does is that locks you to this point. And then you can move your mouse along this red axis. Well, then you can move your mouse over to the midpoint of this other object right here to get to the very center of your stool. And then what you're gonna do is you can see how right now what this is doing is this is, uh, this is just rotating the existing copy that I have. Well, what you're going to do instead is you're going to tap that control key and you can see how when you tap the control key what it does is it creates a copy. So you're going to move your mouse until it's over the center point over here and then you're going to type in times three and hit the enter key. What that does is that creates three copies of this object in a circle. So now what we're going to do is we're going to move the feet of our object out a little bit. So basically what we want is we want these objects or these legs to all be three feet or three inches further outward than the tops. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna go inside one of these components. And remember that since these are components, when you change one of them, um, it's gonna change any instance of that component in your model. But you're just gonna select the bottom piece here. And then you're just gonna use the move tool to move this out three inches along the red axis. 
and then out three inches along the green axis. So this gives you this wider base for your chair. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here and we're gonna draw our crossers. And in order to do that, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start at the midpoint of one of these legs and then move your mouse up to the other midpoint up here. But what you're gonna do is you're just gonna type in eight and a half and hit the enter key. That'll make this eight and a half inches tall. And then you can come in here and let's say we wanna make these an inch wide. So we'll draw a line a half inch from the center and we'll go ahead and draw that straight across onto this other face and then we'll draw another line that's a full inch and we'll draw a line back across so now this gives you kind of a base face well now let's say that we want this to be another inch thick all you gotta do is move your mouse um, and hopefully it'll inference along here if it doesn't you can just um, use this midpoint as kind of your uh, point that you draw this towards but you can just type in one inch and then we'll do the same kind of thing. So we'll do a half inch here. Another half inch here. And you can just kind of fill this in manually. And you may have to come in here and reverse some of these faces just to make sure the correct faces are facing out. But now what you can do is you can erase your guideline and you can do the same thing where you can right click on this, you can make it a component and we'll just call it bottom crosser. And then we'll come in here, we'll save a copy. And then we'll do the same thing, we'll use the rotate tool and uh, we'll inference to the center of this object up here. And then we'll just use this in a copy mode to make four copies just like we did with our legs. So just rotate that once with the rotate tool in copy mode, then type in times three and hit the enter key. Well, now you've got your bottom crossers in here and they're in here, they match up okay with your geometry and all of that. And then the last thing you're gonna do is you're gonna do the same thing up here at the top. So you'll come up here, you'll draw a half inch line You may have to use the midpoints of this leg as kind of a guide, but you'll just draw this one inch long line here. And you can kind of use this corner point as an inference in there as well, but you can just draw this as one inch. And you can see how I'm just using the inferencing along these faces. To kind of finish this shape off. So once I've modeled that piece, I'll just select all of them and reverse them to make sure that the correct um, face is facing out. I'll right click on it and I'll make that a component and we'll call this top crosser. hit the enter key, save our model, and then use the rotate tool in copy mode one more time. We'll make three copies to create our final top crosser there as well. Then you can come in here and you can delete out your guides and uh, you're good to go. But that's just a quick, easy way to come in here and create a stool like this. Uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Um, did you like this video? Did you like the workflow? Do you think there's something easier that I could have done? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. Uh, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider visiting my support me page at the sketchupessentials.com slash support. Um, that's got everything from links to extensions you can purchase to support the show to links to my patreon page but in any case thank you so much for taking the time to watch this i really appreciate it and i will catch you in the next video thanks guys